on, everybody? Are we going to have a false start today? Let's see how the audio is already. We got Yigit, I hope I'm saying that right, Nassim, Zoe, Pokey on top, Scott, Hayden, Savage is here. What is up? What is up? Let's see how the audio is. I'm watching this in real time, finding out just like you. Maybe it'll be a tradition that we have to kind of restart every stream. <laughs> Hopefully not. Let's play a little bit of audio from Ableton Live. We got a beat. You guys let me know how the audio is, how the levels are. Guys, does it sound good? Welcome to the stream. I think we're good. Hopefully you can hear that Ableton beat happening. What is up, Barry? What is up, Tepoopy Master? Love to see that. Bueno, you're back. How are things in Jamaica, my friend? What are we going to do tonight, guys? Should we start by maybe showing off the beat we made last stream? We also get ready because I'm going to need you to write swipe up in the chat because I got to post this to Instagram. Glitchy stream garbage, am I right? That was yesterday's project name. So if you were here last night for the stream, we made it too hot. Last night for the stream, we made this beat, like it evolved way more than I thought it would. And I gave you guys the choice. We could either arrange the beat or we can move on and make a second one. And you guys voted to arrange the beat. So we ended up with this full beat here, which I'll just, let's just let it play for a bit. It ended up being super epic sounding, thanks to some suggestions from the chat. Hey, what's up, Asher? What's up, Ryan? SL64, Chris Beats, what's going on? So this was yesterday's beats. And while this is playing, I'm going to need you guys type swipe up in the chat because I'm going to do my Instagram shout out and say, hey, come check out the live stream. And I'm going to point the camera at the chat so you can all say swipe up, swipe up, swipe up. So go for it. Guys, we are. Oh, my God. False, false start. As soon as you guys catch up, swipe up in the chat, swipe up, let's do it. And if you weren't here in the stream yesterday, let me know what you think this beat sounds like. All right, here we go, ready? What's going on everybody, we are back on live streaming on YouTube. We're gonna be making some beats and chilling tonight, hanging out, have some good conversations. So make sure you swipe up. Nice, good job guys, good job. Wait, should I do it one more time? You guys are just catching up, do it one more time. What's going on everybody? We are live streaming on YouTube, making beats, chilling, having some good conversation in chat, and chat wants you to All right, we got it. I think everybody was able to get in it. And we're about to come up to like the epic drop of this track. So let me know what you guys think of it. We did it. All right. What did you all think of that beat? Let me know in the chat. No texting during social distancing. It's true. Let's tweet it out too. So what are we doing tonight, chat? What instrument? What plugin? You guys know the videos. You guys know what I have. I have Ableton Suite and I have a bunch of plugins. I'm going to hit 
file, new live set, you let me know what plugin should I start with or what instrument should I start with? Should I start with drums, pads, leads? What do you think? Okay, stop to proceed. Beats and chill. Paste the link, tweet it out. All right, let's do it. All right, we're done with the phone, and since the audio is great right off the bat, I can crack this open. Now we can start. All right, what is the first thing I see? Brass. We did brass yesterday. All right, since JP was the first one to throw a suggestion in, and he says or keys, I'm going to take the or keys. Because we did a lot of brass stuff yesterday, and I definitely want to have some variation in today's stream. So let's actually start with a complete control instrument. See where this takes us. I'm going to just do all instruments, piano keys, and let's start scrolling through some sounds. Also guys, got a really, oh that was loud, got a really cool opportunity today. Not opportunity, but a brand reached out, was just like super nice, and just like, they asked, hey, is this still your shipping address? We want to send you something because we want to keep you not bored during this time of quarantine and all that and I'm actually they're sending me a really dope piece of gear and I won't give it away what it is you guys can speculate in the chat but it's gonna be make for great content it's something I don't know how to describe it I've used a version of this thing oh that's a nice keyboard sound let's start with that keep that just like it is what tempo are we gonna be at tonight it was kinda fast last night I don't remember what it was but Maybe we go a little bit slower tonight, 90. Definitely needs more reverb. Starting with some chords here. Courtesy of JP with the suggestion on the keys. And of course I am gonna start by bringing all these volumes down. I wish one day I will just save my default live set to start with all the volumes down. two headphones now I'm trying to find what key I want to be in Let's just give it a shot. We do lower. Let's try that. Great start. Not sure if I love that ending, but it's a loop to start with, just gets going. It almost has like a EDM kind of quality to it. The progression at least, in, in the sound a little bit. Should we bit crush it a little bit? Let's do that. Add some redux before the reverb, of course. Soft. Maybe even roll some of these highs off.
let's move on to drums. Which one of these packs? This is like the stupidest way to go through my splice samples, but I just don't want the stream to melt down. How's everyone doing tonight? Everybody still in quarantine? Has people's situations escalated or are you feeling a little bit better, a little bit more nervous? Let's talk about it. For me, today, I had to work yesterday. I had to leave the house yesterday to do some stuff. And I had to do a ton of work from home today. A ton of editing. So I work in like digital content and everybody needs content and a strategy right now. I like that, but I don't quite want that. Let's just do some bedroom lo-fi. Wait, somebody asked about Lila. Lila's doing well. Wait, who asked that? I just realized that happened. Hey, Ryan, did I already say hi? What's up, Ryan? That's what I want. the pitch of that kick. Not quite. I think I need one more quick sample here. So let's add maybe one more snare. Guys, if you come in here from, oh, so loud. If you're coming here from the Discord, if somebody could please just at everybody in general hang out and let them know that we are live. Yeah, I don't even like that stick, but let's try this. Should have put the metronome on for that. <laughs> yeah, let me try that one more time. Metronome on though. and let's start up with the side chain you guys already know we're gonna side chain everything hey what's up Juan how are things in Argentina hi mom Bueno asks, why don't you use ADSR Sample Manager? Yes, that is a good point. I don't know if I have the current version installed. So if you go on ADR's, ADSR's YouTube channel, you will probably see a video of me explaining the Sample Manager and demoing it. But when I did that at the time, I had like a not for release beta version before it actually released. And I don't know if I've since updated. So I don't know um, if I have the updated version that won't have any of the bugs true but I know but I don't actually want it on all the time when I'm recording just that one instance all right I'm gonna that kick is really lacking but I still like the sound of it I'm gonna add a drum bus to it which adds a little more bottom end crazy wolf what is up I'm so glad you can make it guys crazy wolf's an OG crazy wolf has been around how long? You tell me.
All right, let's maybe add a little bit of chorus to that keyboard sound. We're only two sounds in. Am I going too slow? Should we add a lead sound or something? I think that pigments, there's like this pigments preset. I'm not sure if it's the same anymore, but it used to be that when I loaded up pigments, it would be the first preset and it's just like a beautiful sound. But I don't know if since the update, the first preset has changed. Yeah, this is still a great sound. But it's not quite the one I was thinking of. Just making beats tonight, Crazy Wolf. chat <laughs> what's been going on quarantines did my story post see this is the problem you exit out of Instagram before the story posts did not post oh it did This beat, we're going to move on quickly from this beat because it's already pretty simple and sounds like a tight beat. But let's go ahead and add the tried and true vocal sample situation. Okay. Not like that. Simpler. Reverb. Needs more reverb, but needs more sidechain. Needs more reverb is so 2019. Needs more sidechain. That's the 2020 version. Let's do something with that. Let's find the right key. Ooh, if you guys recognize that sample. Pretty sure there's a Ableton performance where the artist is using push two and she uses that sample. But this is one of my favorite samples, vocal samples that I have from Splice. I'm gonna put the uh, sidechain on it right away. Come on. There we go. Yeah, baseline. That'll come next, Santiago. You're right.
Syndic. These I usually get my samples, like I think all the drum samples you're hearing right now, and the vocal sample from Splice. I just subscribe to Splice. I have a stack of credits. I just let it stack up because it's so useful, especially if I get like creative block or something. Um, just go on Splice, search up some samples, go off one sample, build a whole track off that, and it makes it so much easier. Everything is a little bit too loud right now. All right, that gives me in some nice safe headroom. Give you guys a little more. Let me know if the track gets too loud. Oops. So also what like bringing all those volumes down helps with and leaving the headroom is that since I want this vocal sample to pop out a little bit more, if everything was just at zero, if we started at zero with everything and I wanted to push up this vocal sample, I would have to push it above zero and that would definitely cause some like gain issues and maxing out and I don't have to worry about that because I've left plenty of headroom and once we throw a mastering chain on here and it's just mastering compression in general, then we will be good to go. We'll have plenty of headroom to make it loud. Santiago, what do you mean? How do you convert MIDI into audio? So right now, all of these instruments are MIDI instruments. Play that same figure on a different instrument. Um, that's just MIDI. The virtual instruments are there. If I wanted to record the sound and mix it down or export it, it would become audio. Oh, peace out, Ryan. Thanks for tuning in. Have fun at work. Hopefully you're safe. Let's do a little EQing on this. I want it to be brighter. Oh, I cut the highs. I don't know why. Uh, I knew I said I would put a baseline. C2TM, what is up? Welcome to the stream. What kind of baseline are we looking for today? Plugins. I just feel like I don't want to do too many pigments plugins because I don't want my CPU to get destroyed, but we're doing pretty well so far. So let's look for some bass. Am I going to release that track? Oh, mistakes were made. That's a good question. Probably not. Honestly, I just need to, it would be great to one day have the luxury of blocking off an entire week and going through unfinished projects and taking the best ones and finishing them. And that's kind of what I did with what I've done with beat sketches, which if you go in the description of this stream, you'll see a follow Tatro on Spotify link. You can go listen to some beat sketches and that's the product of that. Like beats that I just made for videos that I went and took and made completely finished. And I have a new track coming out on the 26th that nobody's heard yet. Well, people I know have heard it, but. Is this too aggressive? Oh, the track is super loud. That's why it blasted my ears. That's too weird. That's a fairly decent baseline. chain it's also way too loud in the mix
Alex M, what is up? Lotto, what is up? Welcome to the stream. If you just join in, we're making some beats and we're chilling tonight. Last night we did the same thing. Gonna try to keep it up through this whole quarantine pandemic situation. I know everybody's feeling kind of lonely and sluggish being stuck at home. If you are stuck at home. And want to bring the community together and make some beats at the same time. I will probably try to do an earlier stream this weekend because there's people in other parts of the world in different time zones that are not getting to enjoy the stream that have been asking. So stay tuned for that. But if you're following me on Instagram or Twitter, on Instagram it's just at Tatro. On Twitter it's at Nick Tatro. I'll post when I go live, that's for sure. And the chat will tell you to swipe up. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Hi-hats. I literally have this specific splice pack alone in my user library. So I can quickly access these hi-hat loops. But, eh, let me think about it. That's a good one. Some of these, sometimes the uh, hi hats sound a little too sharp for me, you know? Oh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, Crazy Wolf asks, have you worked on your podcasts? Yes. So my plan originally was to release the podcast this week. But with all the craziness, I didn't want to like be tone deaf or get lost in the news cycle. So I'm waiting till next week to release the next episode of Tatro Radio. So if you like podcasts and you like hearing music from home studio producers from around the world, I critique the music that comes on the show and you can listen to it wherever you listen to podcasts. Just type in Tatro Radio. Cindy asks, you learned music without help. I mean, you didn't study anything related to that. That is the opposite of what I did. I went to a state college, not a fancy college, but I was a music major. So I studied music. I was always super into music in band in school, like learned to read music, learned to play some instruments, and that's how I got into it. But in terms of electronic music, I was really on my own with all that. So I had a really solid foundation of like music theory, basically how to play keyboard. And then from there, I took those skills and just learned via the internet how to make music, like how to make electronic music. We're at six tracks right now, and I already feel like this beat sounds pretty good. What do we add in next, chat? I'm ready to move on, to be honest. arrangement because we're early in the stream what city are you from Boston my friend what city are you from or did you already write Alex sorry if I didn't if I missed it but uh Cindy yeah why do you ask are you thinking about music school or thinking about how you're gonna learn this stuff
audio from Ableton is pretty low. Let's crank it. How long have I been producing for? What does that even mean? I don't know. I've been making music since I was like 14. I would say in the last three to four years, I have taken it very seriously and improved quite a bit. Savage asks, is music school worth it? Loaded question, and I will get back to you after this arrangement. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring that down. So right here, what I'm doing is turning the drums off. And what turning them off does is makes it so I still get the side chain signal. So everything's still pumping. the vocal samples to be part of the drop and this to be part of the build up. Too loud. Too loud. Baseline, come back. Actually makes me realize the baseline is too loud. time while I answer some of the questions and talk to chat so and then we'll move on we'll make one more track tonight uh, I don't have the money to pay for music school that's fine because YouTube is free what are we doing right here you can ask me all the questions you want to know and you can also Google any questions that you have and take music theory lessons for free music production lessons for free by going on YouTube and like you can literally learn anything that's how I learned music production um, is music school worth it in general? It depends. What do you plan to do? What skills do you hope to get out of music school? I will say that, like I just said to Cindy, that you can learn anything you want for free. If you think you need school to motivate you or to make you actually get work done, then maybe music school is a good idea. But don't go into a shit ton of debt to go into a music career that is super, like you don't know if it's going to pay off. Not if it's gonna pay off, but you don't know if you're gonna be able to pay your bills. Don't go into a crazy amount of debt and ruin your life just to go to school for music. If you can work hard, you don't necessarily need music school. That's what I'll say. But some people have had transformative experiences at music school, that's for sure. Are we ready to move on? Let's move on. Yeah, see, Alex M says he learned guitar on YouTube, and I learned a guitar by like looking up tabs and playing along with the tracks that I like. I'm not a super proficient guitar player. I'm a passable guitar player, um, but you can definitely take yourself to a certain level. Santiago, do you recommend online courses? That is the idea of learning online is so much more appealing than going to a school. A, if you go to a school and you live there, that's an added expense, or you move and that's an added expense. Or if you go to like a university or something, you have to take so many like extra courses that they want you to take. Oh gosh, 
Be right back. Should we report that crash, guys? I won't. I won't do it to him. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, online courses. But if you can find an online course that you specifically like, like covers exactly what you want, that's a lot more of a good deal than paying tuition at a university where you take five classes you don't want and one class that actually helps you move forward. Just my opinion. And I'm creative director at Three Four Three Labs, which is a music school that's online and in, in New York and they are having a huge sale on their courses right now so shameless plug go to 343labs.com and see if there's courses that are for you and the cool thing about their online stuff is they do two day like weekend workshops five day intensives and then 12 session full courses so even if you just wanted a little bit and obviously it's like two days least expensive five days in the middle and full courses are most expensive but there's bite-sized pieces that you can make little progress at a time. You don't have to like go all in, especially going to a university or something. Somebody said, can you make a house track? I don't know about house music, but we can absolutely try. And I'm just going to get weird with it and have fun with it. I'm not a house producer by any means. Anthony, you're here, man. Glad you can make it. And also, shout out to you, Anthony, because yesterday you took that track. You helped me take it in a different direction when you told me to add the brass, you know? All right, what's a house tempo? Sure, 125. Metronome, please. Just gonna hold it. Sure. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's find a cool kick simple. something too cheesy but I, I need to look into like the Ableton sounds because I know they have stuff that's closer to house than I would have in like my splice sample collection because I look for mostly beats and like lo-fi stuff well we know what we're gonna do now if it's a house track and check out that master clip let's go everything down in house the prior the uh, still stands that we got a side chain actually it might be more important than this shaker actually okay, that's fine all right so we got that with the kick that. 
just like that. Less of that. Sometimes I like to put chorus on stuff like this because it makes it just have a wider sound, takes it out of that dead center, like focus on me sound, you know? And it's percussion, so it's supposed to be all around you. It's not supposed to be the center thing. The kick is obviously supposed to be the center. And what I also definitely want to do, I'm going to grab the utility and throw it on the kick. And I'm going to make this kick mono. Dead center. Especially important for house music, I think. I don't know. Is this it? Is this what you do for house? So like basically now it's house. I'm gonna throw my own melodic spin on it now and stuff and just start to add some fun stuff on top. Feeling pigments tonight, so we're doing pigments. It's like one of my favorite plugins. It's also like one of the best looking plugins. Somebody asked me that, and damn, somebody asked me like what's the best looking like interface? And pigments definitely came to mind. Of course there's leads in house music, unless you guys know something I don't know. messing around now. I was not hearing where the one was. happening. All right, I'm just going to take the beginning of what I did. Well, thanks for hanging out. Peace out. If you're enjoying the stream, guys, let me know in the chat. If you have questions or if you just want to chat about something, you're feeling lonely in quarantine, let's talk about it. Okay. Don't stop. You know. Okay.
We're gonna add auto pan to this. It's gonna make it go this way and that way. I think the stream's in mono, regardless. Add some stupid echo to this, I think. Not that. It's the vocal sample. Honestly. And chat talking about what software am I using hey what's up Nick Miller this is a software called Ableton live it's my main music making software highly recommend for anybody that is interested in creating their own music baseline my friends that's what it's time for Wrong order. Groove is a little weird at the end. Why Ableton and not FL? I've looked at FL Studio and it just, this is called Ableton Live. I'm a musician that likes to play my musical ideas in live most of the time. Not saying that doing it another way, there's anything wrong with that, not talking down on that. But this being like uh, the closest way for me to translate like physical musical ideas into the computer. Whereas FL Studio is very step sequencer based and a lot of the people I enjoy listening to, I found we're using Ableton Live, and that's the number one thing you should do when you're looking for somebody, when you're looking for what program to start using, is all the people you admire, watch every YouTube video until you find a picture of their computer screen and see what they're using. And whatever they're using, use it, because that's what kind of music you probably want to make. so much king of the hill i really appreciate that good to know how is live treating you king of the hill i 
I'm just messing around at this point. We'll probably pivot one more time, make one more beat before the stream is over. Capture MIDI. Santiago says pigments. All right, we're on. We're about to be on track eight. Let's add a pigments track, and we will call this track done. We'll do a quick arrangement. It's a little too cheesy for my taste, but it sounds cool. have to hit record in Ableton Live 10 because we can just hit capture MIDI and it records everything that you just played. I need to hard quantize that. See this is the joy, this is like my music making process, the joy of just like digging through specific like plugins presets and finding something I would never choose this sound. But now that we're in this groove, and I came across it, I used it. And you know, we gotta sidechain it still. Noise. 
I'm gonna try something and I don't know if it's gonna sound good or if I can make it sound good. Warp this, loop this, tight. Tune in the noise. I don't know. Watch this. What do you think of this? What? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Guys, type one in the chat if you want Sierra to come say hi. If we get Ten ones in the chat. She'll come say hi. And she'll bring Lila. Ten number ones. Make it happen. Alright, do I leave it at this? Oh, slower is better. That's what I was just going to ask. Let's find that sweet spot. Could it be slower? If that's the case, we need like a backbeat clap. Oh, one, one. Okay, it <laughs> doesn't count if you type one more than once. I think that's unfair. Hey, what's up, Devil Beats? We're making some weird mystical stuff. Um, there's a lot more than 10 ones in the chat. I just wanna let you know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come on over. Say hello. Looking for a clap while she contemplates her existence. Oh. <laughs> Joseph put emotional support animal in quotes in the chat. <laughs> oh, I'm going to use this. Do you see all the ones? First, first look at the chat and know that I'm not making that up. I need to use this later, but not right now. Um, nice. That's not in real time. That's on a delay. So oh. just wave to the chat. No, say hi with your face. All right. You guys made it happen. Yeah, simply.cie on Instagram. You can go, go, you can go follow her. It's a shout out. <laughs> that is the clap I want. Here we go. Thank you guys for your support. Those number ones meant a lot. Quick arrangement and then we'll be on to something new. Okay, what do we even start with? think we're going to start right away with the four to the four. Hope y'all are having fun on the stream tonight. If you're not, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, and make live electronic music performances, tutorials, and content to make you a more productive producer. This 
is weird because it's not a house track anymore. <laughs> is anymore. Is this track chat? Why did you make me do this? See, that's not the right place for it, but I think we could definitely drop out the drums here. Automation, that's what I want. Now we got a new drum clip to come in. That's all I have to say. Electric bass can come in there. drop this bass out. Am I using everything? One more thing and then we're good. That's the difference between automating the track on off or just deactivating a clip. Lots of reverb. And now a big stupid drop. Copy everything here. We're going to wait a bit. Roll call. Who has been in here since the stream started? Let me know. You have been here since the starting soon screen. Let me see you in the chat. Oh, that's 
Fahrrad. when this was a house track. about that when you click and drag one thing from an it's it's track to a new track and it creates a new track for you it copies the chain here's a stupid thing we're just having fun Let's just give this stupid track a listen from the beginning. I'll take questions in chat. What's going on, guys? How are you? It's okay. Kind of late. We're about to do one more beat. We're going to move on from this weird thing that you guys made me do. It started with the prompt of being a house track. And then I just cut the tempo by like 20 uh, BPM. drive on the slide I don't know about all that peace out Anthony
call it a day on that one. One more, guys. Let's see if it crashes this time. Thanks, Scott. Glad you like the guitar. Didn't crash. Thank you all so much for hanging out, tuning in. We were able to start the stream today with no major issues. Um, no audio glitching. Oh. Um, and so far, we have gone ahead and made two tracks. And we're going to go on to a third. Because we're just going a lot faster than we were last night. Last night, if you weren't here, the stream is up on the channel. If you want to just chill and watch it again. Um we made a full track so I give you guys the choice do I arrange or do I finish and that one took me a bit longer I was going a bit slower I think so we basically took a fair amount of time and built up one really cool epic beat last night nice I don't know about new wave but I'll take the BPM suggestion And let's do something arpeggiated. I am. And delayed. Key. Let's just do A minor. Zelda. Maybe not an arpeggiator. And maybe something major instead. Let's just give it a shot, please, metronome, please. Yes. Let's go for like a weird like video gamey style thing here. Is that Roxney? You chill, bro. I like having it both in the above and below octaves. Did you see my song in my main channel? No, I did not. I'll have to check that out. Link it. I don't know if you can post links in this chat.
also out here. This is the perfect time for this stuff. This is like one of those toys come to life beats. Closer. It's so hard to hit that. I'm not a Toy Story fan, really. John Gonzales always, John Gonzales always with the first. Gonzales, sorry, I read it wrong. Oh, and guys, I'm annoyed at that loop. So let's switch to the lower octave. We're gonna turn this into a super lo-fi beat at the end. Just wait. So it's we're gonna end this with a huge transformation. So that's what we'll do. Stay tuned. This track is gonna transform.
sure the uh, obligatory decap shout. What you do? Oh no. Yeah, Pokey, there's a couple vocal samples that they were clearly trying to be like Charlie Puth sound like. Just kind of genius. Are you coming to say hi to the stream again? One in the chat, folks. Actually, this time two. Two in the chat. And if we can get ten twos in the chat. What can you do for them? They've already seen you. Suggestions, my friend. Suggestions. Let's not forget that side chain. Let me know, chat, if you guys are going through the same thing, but um, Sierra has spent the whole day cleaning, and it seems like that is the quarantine thing to do. Oh, we got a dose. I think dose actually counts as two twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven, guys. It's not enough. I know there's more than 70 in the stream. Oh, we're getting closer. I have it set up to like do not disturb notifications and uh, so every day at 10 p.m. all my notifications come through Sierra there are 10 twos huh the chat has spoken I don't know what to tell you it's like you can't you can't deny them do you want my stream to fail a simple baseline while Sierra comes to terms with the fact that she has to come say hello again. Simple bass, please. Some of these sounds are just like, for what? Make me a liar.
probably like one more sound like a pad sound and then like i said before we are going to mess this thing up and turn it into a complete lo-fi beat i do need something i want something with solid chords and i know that that's not it but no i think we already used a similar sound oh it's one of my favorite sounds but it's not gonna go well here not that either that's what i'm looking for think about like any cheerios commercial that's what this is something like longer maybe that One wrong note, but I will go and fix it because I like having this 12 bar pattern. Peace out, Savage. Thanks for sticking around. It's cool. You can catch the end of the stream, it'll be archived in the morning. to a close here guys anyway i'm about to arrange this beat and show you guys my lo-fi trick that some of you might have already watched the tutorial for it but i definitely think it'll fit well for this song so let's go ahead and just turn this into a nice loop also i have to remember how to do the trick that i want to do Set up an audio track. Let's do this. Super lo fi. Ready? We will. Let's see what's the easiest way to do this. Where can we record from? Let's re record from the master. Why not? And let's actually hit record and we're just going to record this. So literally just taking a recording of what we're hearing, turning this all into audio, because we're gonna mess it up and make it lo-fi, and that'll be our last kind of thing that we do today. Thank y'all for hanging in the stream for so long. If you guys have been in here for a while, I really appreciate you sticking the whole night. More streams to come. This weekend, likely gonna do some morning or afternoon streams for people in other time zones if it's super late where you're at. And 
done. Cool. I'm going to group these just to make them go away. And now with this one, what we're going to do, what are we going to do again? We're going to go to repitch, warp mode. I know some of you have seen this already, this tip. That's not what I want. Warp, warp, repitch, segment VPM, and we are going to shrink it down. We want it to be super low fi so I'm going to shrink it down that much. I think this is how I do this. I always mix up the steps every time. Now I'm going to flatten. So basically we just took that track, flattened it out, shrunk it down so it sounds like this. It sounds bad. And now we're going to stretch it back out. So we're going to go back to repitch mode. Stretch this out and we'll have a relatively similar sounding track. It's a little more lo-fi, but to make it even more lo-fi and I'm doing this 100 BPM is kind of fast for like a chill lo-fi beat. So if we stretch this out even more, we'll get a slower tempo, obviously. Whoa, turn the old track off. Maybe not that slow. Eh? That's lo-fi, my friends. I'm gonna go a little bit less, though. If we wanted to make it even more lo-fi, I'm also gonna send this to a breather to get a little more high end back. I'm gonna go to my plugins and I'm gonna use the J37, it's under waves. H I J wrong folder tape emulation. You can add some noise. We can add some depth to this wow. Hear that coming in? Too much? Dial it back. You can have it be a slower rate. Add some flutter. A little bit of delay. Sounds like it came straight from a Bradley's cassette tape in the 90s. Now I think if I were gonna like actually try to make this a lo-fi beat, I would maintain some of the original quality because we lost pretty much all, we lost a fair amount of the high end. Let's just look at EQ8 and see how much is gone. Yeah. It's dropped off. It's not even there. What is that? Where is that at? Yeah, we're at about like 6K down. I'd love to have a little more of that high end. But overall, we end with a nice chill beat. We want to see what we originally sounded like. We went from that to this. There's an a VHS Ableton ALS. I don't know what that means. Is there something in Ableton by default that's VHS? I don't think so. Maybe it's a free download. But this is a thing you can do in any Ableton version that has a repitch. Warp mode, which I think most of them do. I don't actually know. But it, even if I bring this back down to being the same 
tempo still has a low quiet low five quality and suddenly we took like 55 seconds of music and turned it into almost a minute 30. Just a fun little trick and something to end the night. So we're ending the night on this. But we also made toy box lo-fi beat then you guys told me to make some house music and we started as a house track but it quickly devolved into something else <laughs> started by making kind of like a normal beat so normal beat that we're about to hear will be number one that house thing that we slowed down will be number two and the lo-fi toy box will be number three can you drop in the chat which beat did you enjoy the most could be which beat did you enjoy the end result of or which beat did you enjoy seeing the making of the most let me know one two or three this is number one <laughs> Forgot we even made this to be honest. What did you enjoy? This one, number one, the house beat that we slowed down, or the weird to bo toy box lo fi beat? One, two, or three? Let me know in the chat. I'm very curious. I know what my favorite was. My favorite was number one. This, this beat that we started with, like, it sounds like the most my style beat. But that said, I really enjoyed the other stuff because it got me out of my comfort zone. All right, you guys. If you haven't yet, make sure you click the subscribe button on the channel. Turn on alerts, ring the bell, so that way you will know when I'm going to go live. I'm trying to set them in advance so you can set reminders on them. Stay tuned this weekend. I don't know what. I know you guys are all over the place in terms of time zones. I am on Eastern Standard Time, so New York time. I'm going to try morning or day streams this weekend. Follow me on Instagram at Tatro or Twitter at Nick Tatro to get a good chance of seeing the content I'm putting out and also know when I'm going to go live next. I'm working on editing a couple of videos, had a launch key beat performance drop today. So if you didn't watch that yet, go onto the channel and watch the video. And if you have ideas for the stream, definitely hit me up, message me on different social media and say, Hey, can you do this on stream next time? Or Maybe you guys can vote on what controllers I'll use. I have a built-in push two. I have the model cycles. I think I have a lot of really exciting stuff to use. But thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tatro. Have a good one. Uh -huh.